Okay, so you've completed your project in Google Slides. This is just a generic template they have. Come over to File, down to Publish to the Web, and you can just get a link, but we want to embed it in Blogger. So you click on Embed, and you can choose the size. I suggest going with small. That medium is pretty big, and it might kind of go over the edge of your blog. Uh, so to be safe, you can go with small, and then just decide however often you want the slides to advance. You know, there's other uh, questions here you can decide on. And then you click on Published. Yes, I want to publish the selection. And so what it generates right here, this is called the embed code. So I'll copy that code, come over to my blogger, <coughs> excuse me, I'll do new post, I'll call it test slides, and then normally when you're in Blogger, it's in Compose view like this. So you can say, here is my project. But then what you want to do next is, because you have that embed code, if I just paste in that code right now, it looks like that, and it's a mess. So I come over here and click on, toggle this little um, menu, and go to HTML view, because I have HTML code, from uh, this Google slide site. So just at the end right here, the end of all that code, I'll just paste it in. And then when I go back to my compose view, the project's right there. Uh, when you preview it, you can see how it looks. You can see it's not overlapping. If I had that larger size, it might overlap. You can't really see all the functionality of it when it's in preview mode. But if I come back to my post and I do publish, and here it is, so I can click on view. And there it is embedded. And then I can click right here and go to full screen. Pretty slick, right? All right, there you have it.